So we're here with Youth Mass just after playing Giganometry. And uh, well, how was it for you guys? It was great, yeah. Dave. It was brilliant. Tell Enjoyed it. Tell me more. First of all, thanks a million for having us. Yeah, welcome. It was a complete honor. Yeah. The other bands are great tonight. Uh, Manic and Sex Drive. Yeah, yeah. And Modify. <laughs> well done, Nevin. Well done, Nevin. Uh, Modify came all the way from Australia well, just for this gig yeah. today, which is. Absolutely, a long way to travel. You guys came from Trim, so normally you're playing by the, the shores of the Boyne, yeah? So now you're playing by the, the shores of the Liffey, and yeah. what's the difference? What's the difference? Um, there's not really that big a difference. The venues in Dublin are probably a little bit better than the venues in Meath, I'd say. Not just in your home crowd. <laughs> but we love Meath. It's actually funny, we were, uh, we were to use one of our songs on the Sunday game, and it was for Dublin. It was like a, a, a montage of Dublin lifting the Sam Maguire. And we're just like, oh, right, we're on the Sunday game and it's for yeah. the Doves picking up Sam Maguire. We'll never show our faces in the local pubs again. Ironic. We're sorry, Royal County people. We're sorry, but it, some things have to happen. So, Darren, I was saying to you earlier on that, or you were saying to me earlier on, that you're a guitar player, really, and the singing is just kind of new to you, but you really, really get into it. How, how did the singing come about? Uh, I think originally... This man wanted to be the singer, but he's, yeah. he's, he's too shy, that's what we say. <laughs> a shrinking violet, yeah. I know, he's a terrible singer. He's terrible. a terrible singer. If it's he so could have it his singer. way, he would be singing. Oh, yeah. oh definitely, I'd be singing. But, uh, and, and the interesting thing, Nevin, is that you were saying, I was talking to you earlier on as well, and you were saying that you're coming up with new tunes all the time. So where do the songs originate from? Do you come up with riffs and bring them to the band and yeah. where did the lyrics come from and because it's very intense isn't it usually i come up with stuff and then darren just tears me to pieces <laughs> <laughs> and really tells it that like just oh, no that's useless yeah so like it has to get through quality control here for <laughs> but, you have to be ruthless you have to be <laughs> and he is ruthless yes. uh, and, and tell me where are the influences from because we've been talking to some of the people who are at the gig and by the way an amazing gig really mind-blown really really good and we heard a bit of Radiohead, uh, people talking about Radiohead, people talking about Elbow. Where are your influences come from? Like, what's your, what's your template? Um, there'll be a lot, like, I like to think that there's a pop sentimentality to, to everything we do. Yeah. But we are, me in particular, I'm fascinated with post-rock music. Yeah. And, 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 and Radiohead, the, yeah. the artier side of Radiohead, I know you are as well. Um, so we, we kind of like to get... That sort of introspective touch to it. Okay. With a pop element. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, a <bit laughs> it's a bit complicated. We've had lots of genres mentioned here tonight, so you're kind of creating a new... You know the way there's this new genre called Indie Tronica, yeah. which is guys like ourselves, but you've got the indie, uh, the, the electronica stuff going on in the background as well. Are you ever tempted by that at all, or do you want to just keep it really live and, and, and real? I think at times we there's t we see other sort of electronic bands doing stuff that we love and we'd like to yeah. to bring that in, but then I don't know. I suppose it's two things. One, we don't know how to do it, <laughs> and great, right. that's uh, true. And I suppose we'd be we're more comfortable playing live instruments, and we just yeah, we would, something could go wrong, and we wouldn't know how. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. I think it's fair to say. The, the four of us are all clubbers, like, you know, okay. like, that's we're, very like, like we're, we're all big dance big clubbers. music fans, and uh, uh, okay. you don't hear that much dance, I don't think, in what we do, but I think it probably yeah. followed the template of a dance song, a lot of our songs as well. Yeah, yeah. Would that be true? Yeah, but so I, think, I think some of the best feelings you can get from music is in dance music. Yeah, absolutely. You know, like, yeah. like, the, like massive crescendos and stuff like that. Yeah. And... Uh, this is probably my first time saying, but I, I think we try and get that across with guitar music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, absolutely. I think somebody was saying to me upstairs the third song was just a dance track. You know, yeah. it was a dance track played by you know a, a rock band yeah. as such. You know, uh, Darren, you get really well. Both of you really, really get into it, and you're bouncing off each other, and I mean literally bouncing off each other on stage. You know, yeah. and. I, at, at times, I can see what you're saying about you're a guitar player, and you have to remember. I've got to get back to the mic in about two seconds' time, you know? And you're wondering, the crowd is wondering, is he going to make it? Yeah. <laughs> I don't. Quite often. <laughs> and I forget the words. I don't know what I'm doing. Because I, I, yeah. I would definitely be a guitar player more than a singer. And I, 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 think, I don't agree with that. Yeah. I, think, yeah. I think he's primarily a singer. I yeah. think his voice is, is, is amazing. Yeah. Well, yeah, Darren, yeah. Well, it's... 
I have to say, your voice is amazing. You've got that high range as well. So for somebody that just took up singing because nobody else would do it, it's pretty fucking impressive, you know. So we, we so hats off to you. Um, so what's the plans for 2015? You're, you, you've had a, an amazing 2014. You've signed to Pickled Onion Records. You produced your first uh, album, which has gone really well. You did a full Irish tour. You were all over the country and playing it once to watch. Uh, what's next? Um, well, as you said, there we were touring the album there for most of 2014. So, yeah. like, we're writing songs as we go, but we haven't really completed them in the band yet. Mm-hmm. So that's what's next. Okay, is getting the next tunes down. Yeah. And yeah. I have to say, they're way better than what we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. You heard it here, folks. You heard it here. Uh, Barry, of course, the bass player is your third bass player. So, what's the story with bass players? And and you dragged your brother in, Darren. What? How did that come about? Um, well, one of them, there was an armed robbery in Athboy in County Mead a few years ago. You mightn't remember it. It was in the news. I do. So our bass player is gone anyway. He's gone away for a while. No, I'm only messing. He moved. He moved to Poland. Uh, He's waiting on the extra dice. For this one. Um, the second bass player Jerry Jerry hello Jerry uh, great bass player he just I suppose other things in his life were yeah were keeping him busy you know okay. he got married and had a kid and all that sort of stuff so yeah. he just I think he was intimidated yeah. by my good looks to be yeah. honest I think that was, there was a lot I didn't want to say no, it, but. no I think that really upset him a little bit so <laughs> and I'm also intrigued by the name Youth Mass is there like but you're obviously not youth at this stage, but you were a youth at some stage. And is it like a mass movement or, you know, were you ultra boys or something in a oh, previous no, life? It's more what you're saying there. It's more about like a youth mass movement rather than the religious connotation that a lot of people get from it. <laughs> Despite that, I'm, yeah. I'm very religious. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, I have seen Nevin wear kind of monk type gear <laughs> in fairness on stage. OK, it's a hoodie, but he looks like a monk. Yeah. Uh, Sorry, yeah. I, I, no, I was just going to say when we were thinking of names and Youth Mass was, was one that you came up with, it never entered my head the religious thing. And then, you know, when you're trying to come up with a name, no matter what, somebody isn't going to like it and people are going to give out to you. So you just have to decide there, OK, we're going with this and back everyone else. Yeah. And then you said that. Let's go for the headlines, though. Yeah. Isn't it? Like, you know. <laughs> So. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, I think uh, Pope Francis better watch out the next uh, big gig in Phoenix Park in front of a million people. It's going to be youth mass, right? <laughs> so that's the plan for 2015. Tell me it is. It is. It is. Yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> so listen, we've been talking to youth mass after an amazing giganometry gig. So thank you very much for boys for joining us. And uh, we'll see you again during the year. Thank you. Dave. Thank you.